I think that the West is losing their grip on the world. I think the West have had their grip on the rest of the world for so long, and they're so used to having their grip on the rest of the world via colonization, that anything outside of that seems to make people a little bit uncomfortable. Let's take a big picture look at what's going on here. Over the next uh, decade, two decades, it is uh, expected that there will be $150 billion worth of oil and gas extracted off your coast. It's an extraordinary figure. But think of it in practical terms. That means, according to many experts, more than 2 billion tonnes of carbon emissions will come from your seabed, from those reserves, and be released into the atmosphere. I, I don't know if you as a head of state went to the COP Let me in stop Dubai. You right there. Let me stop you right there. Do you know that Guyana has a forest forever that is the size of England and Scotland combined? A forest that stores 19.5 gigatons of carbon? A forest that we have kept alive? A forest that we have kept alive. Does that give you the right? No, does no, no, that no, give no. you I, the that, right that, to release that all of this right? carbon? Does from... that give you the right to, to lecture us on climate change? I am going to lecture you on climate change because Ooh. we have kept this forest alive that stores 19.5 gigatons of carbon that you enjoy, that the world enjoy, that you don't pay us for, that you don't value, that you don't see a value in, that the people of Ghana has kept alive. Guess what? We have the lowest deforestation rate in the world. And guess what? Even with our greatest exploration of the oil and gas resource we have now, we will still be uh, net zero. Guyana will still be net zero. With all our exploration, we will points. still be net zero. No, no, there's no, no... Powerful, powerful no, no, words, no, no, no. Mr. President. Well, 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 a, a couple... I, I'm not completed as yet. I am not finished as yet. I am just not finished as yet. Mm. Because this is the hypocrisy that exists in the world. We, the world in the last 50 years, has lost 65% of all its biodiversity. We have kept our biodiversity. Are you valuing it? Are you ready to pay for it? When is the developed world is going well, to pay for it? Or are you, you in the pockets? You, are you in the pockets of those who have damaged the environment? Are you in the pockets? Are you and your system in the pockets of those who destroyed the environment through the industrial revolution and now lecturing us? Are you in their pockets? Are you paid by them? Are you paid right, to give before you go, sorry, um, there's a comment from James Menzies. He said, um, oops, wrong one. He said, uh, release the carbon. We couldn't destroy the earth if we tried. It's, okay, you don't, your mind is maybe small. You don't actually understand how much of the earth's... Release the carbon? Basically, you don't get it, but... How what, much, to, because we couldn't destroy the earth if we tried? Yeah, so how much of the earth's atmosphere do you believe is carbon? I, I, that CO2. is a question I would not know. Oh, I guess, like, but the way they're going about it, how much percentage of the air would be? Oh, as a matter of fact, I, I, I saw, actually, I think I saw a video on this. I think it's like 2% or something like that. It's not even 2%. It's 0.04%. It might be 0.02%. That, that's crazy. Of that 0.04%, uh, let's just say, of the atmosphere, that's carbon dioxide, how much is man-made? Percentage wise, of of the two of the point two percent, yeah, of the zero point zero two percent. How, how much, much percent is man made? Yeah, what five percent more? Thirteen percent. Okay, well, that's thirteen percent of zero point zero two. That's crazy. Plants and animals make up way more carbon dioxide than that's crazy than people. So when they talk about the carbon footprint, it's all a bunch of BS. Bunch of BS. Um, carbon dioxide is known as the uh, gas of life. So plants inhale carbon dioxide. Mm. Yeah, and they give us back oxygen. Mm. The more so it's photosynthesis. Yeah. So um, these carbon, these climate extremists will make you believe that um, as we make more carbon dioxide, the Earth's temperature goes up. But it's actually an uh, inverse. Uh, but did you see the interviewer um, and the way he was attempting to, or the picture that he was attempting to paint? Yeah, they do with the time. um with the president of Guyana, and I just I just I wanted to, people to see it because I thought it was interesting because, like he was saying, they're at negative or or net zero 
they have a forest which is you know the size of England and Scotland, and they're still they're still trying to get on him like oh well you know you're doing this in the environment. It's like well I'm sure being from England, you pro- as English people we probably release more carbon than they do. Hundred percent. Right. So then why is he getting on him like this? Exactly. And this is part of the. This is. Do you know? Do you not actually believe Jesse? Right. This is what I believe. Right. This is my, what I believe. And this isn't a hate thing. I think that the West is losing their grip on the world. I think the West have had their grip on the rest of the world for so long, and they're so used to having their grip on the rest of the world via colonization, that anything outside of that seems to make people a little bit uncomfortable. And it doesn't have to make you uncomfortable. The Western people don't have to be uncomfortable because it doesn't mean that these people are going to like start getting weapons and start killing all the Westerners. But it seems like a lot of people within the West are so uncomfortable not being in control of other nations via the quote-unquote Commonwealth that when these people become independent, like what is happening, we've spoken about it so many times, what's happening with... Um, Bikina Faso and Ibrahim Traore with the French. Like, people become so uncomfortable with, like, other peoples of colour just having some kind of power. It's just, it's really frustrating, if I'm totally honest. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what what's behind it, but they just don't like it, do they? It's, it's just like they don't, that they become really uncomfortable. It's like, bro, look, chill. Like, it's, it's not that deep, white folks. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, we ain't going to start killing everyone as soon as we get some power. Like, I know uh, people that would kill everyone if they got some power. Who are you? No, the, the people that cannot be named. We don't speak about them on here. Who, who are they called? What's their name? You Voldemort. Them? Oh, okay. Um, well, that's not every person of colour. Do you know what I think? Being a person of a PLC, I'm just like, listen, I listen to down, I listen and, I, and I'm in and around circles of people of colour. We ain't plotting, planning and scheming to try and kill no white folks. That like, generally, that like, it's just not what we're trying to do, folks. Do you know, even if you go to the upper echelons of society when where black people are, they're not trying to plot to kill white people, folks, okay? White people, chill. Okay, chill. It's not that deep. People are not coming for you. It's the thing. The thing is, is that because there's some kind of unconscious and conscious fear in a lot of you that because of the colonization and the slavery, that all of these people are going to have their get back on you. And it's like they ain't got time for that. Just want to be left alone, given their resources and given their chance to determine themselves for however long for whatever they're doing with their own resource wealth. That's all they want. Uh, shout out um, Leandro X. He said, they think that's what you do because that is what they, they do did to your people. So yeah, right. it's crazy, bro. It's just like, just chill the hell out. It's just, it, And the thing is, nothing... i tell you what it's like. It's like they say, if you hold a penny too tight, it will slip. If you hold something too tight, it will slip. And I think that's what's happening with the West. They've tried to hold on for too for too long, for too tightly, and it's starting to slip. And now what you're seeing is the people start scrambling, like, oh my God, this person's getting this. And it's like, chill, chill, calm down, okay? It's fine. Jamaica's not trying to, like, kill all of but you. maybe they would if they had the means and the power. Yeah, but the thing is, maybe is maybe. They can't take that risk. All right, well then keep, keep, but then keep holding on. It's going to slip away anyway. It's just not enough of them. There's not enough time. Listen, I've, I've read enough world history to know, yeah, that history changes hands. It, it, it doesn't stay in one person's hands for the rest of eternity. It just doesn't. Chinese, India, Arab, European, African, it will just, it will just keep changing hands. It's what it does. People think that history is going to stay in the hands of one person for the rest of eternity. It never has, never will. There's seven, seven billion people on the planet. Okay. And we have infinite amount of years. Some would say that the um, people in power have been in power in the shadows since the dawn of time. Nah. Mm-hmm. By an every great um, uh, empire. It's been the same people. Nah. The same people. That's what they say. That's what they say. But you can't say the dawn of time because the people in power, whoever they are, have not been around since the dawn of time. When is time? 
Have you heard of, of the, the the founder theory? To turn and, the, and the you, old world. You, you spoke this. You spoke about this before, didn't you? Oh, yeah. So apparently, there's like a thousand years added onto our timeline. Um, and what's that? What that's done is let the people that write history make a thousand years worth of lies. And um, like our civilization isn't, isn't as old as they make us make out to believe. And so, like, we were founded by our founding. So, like, young children and people that were just literally just placed here and given a script and told what to do. And a lot of our history is very, very recent. And it's not what they tell us. But you believe that the earth is flat, don't you? I know the earth is flat. 